I have created Java project already in the last lecture. So this lecture I will create a Spring Boot project. I will install new plugin for the Spring Boot. So here I went to the marketplace, Eclipse marketplace and I will search for the Spring Boot plugin. Here it is. So I will install this plugin. So this will help me to create a Spring Boot project directly. Alternatively, you can create the Java project and add manually the Spring Boot dependencies in your project. So that will add your uh, Spring Boot jars and that is the alternative uh, way to create a Spring Boot project without adding uh, this plugin. So this is asking me to restart uh, this Eclipse. So I'll restart it. Okay, so it restarted. So if you have any uh, question, you can post it or uh, in the comment section or uh, you, you can post the question send, send out to me. I'll clarify your question. You can uh, watch the video and do it along. So uh, pause the video in between so that uh, you will be able to run it. If you are getting any error, you can obviously like any time you can message me and whenever I'll get time, I'll try to answer it as quickly as possible. So here I'm creating new project. So I went to the new others and uh, let's say I, I'll search a spring. See, it is showing me option now to create a spring boot a starter project. So I'll create this spring boot a starter project. And if I'll create this Spring Boot Starter project, it will create uh, add the Maven dependencies automatically for me. So it is asking me all the things that uh, Java project already asked you. Uh, so I'll uh, put the group ID is the same com dot And uh, this time, uh, let's see. Um, I, I'll uh, put the different artifact ID and name of the project. So let's see. So the group ID is mcom.asutosasi artifact ID is a spring boot docker version. I will I'll leave it same. Uh, let's say group ID I'll put uh, application name as well so com dot asutosasi dot let's say docker and i'll put the same as a package name so that it will create initial package automatically uh, i'll put it demo and uh, not uh, uh, docker so let's put the demo uh, the package name uh, then here it will ask you what dependency you want to add when I am creating the project. So if you are using any NoSQL, any cloud platform, you can add any dependency you want uh, while creating the project. So I will create the project. Here you will see a project demo project is created because the name of the project is demo. Now uh, all the project structure will be created. It is still creating. I'll refresh it uh, once. Uh, I will uh, refresh uh, this once again. See, okay. So it is created. It has the similar project structure. You can see here. Uh, similarly to the Java project, it has uh, SRC main and SRC test folders uh, with the resources having the target oh, pom.xml is not working okay so we are not able to open pom.xml because we need uh, one more software that is uh, the problem in the current uh, spring boot plugin so if you will see this issue opening pom file you can install new plugin so go to the help and install new software and I'll uh, install this software so I'll find the software uh, I will uh, 
put this link into the readme file of this project i will check in this project in the git so that you will get this link to um, install this plugin this software so i'll check all the uh, software except the license and then it will get installed it i have to restart again so uh, i i'll put that link into the readme file so that uh, you, you will be able to install if you are getting problem in opening pom file so now i'll create a new readme.md and then i'll put that link here um, okay so let me zoom in so that you can see it uh, in the video uh, however i will check in the code uh, that java code and this is spring boot code into the uh, github uh, in the last video i'll uh, share like last lecture not video lecture like in the last lecture i'll share the github link path uh, so i'll see if i can share in the document or in i have to share in the video uh, i don't know it but i will share you the uh, git path for these projects so here you can see a uh, group id artifact id uh, and name of the project so see name of the project is demo and artifact id is spring boot docker so both are different name of the project is showing their demo and uh, i'll show you the artifact id that is a spring boot docker so how you, how it effect when i uh, will create the jar see java version is 11 dependencies it added let's see a spring boot starter and a spring boot starter test for the test cases and uh, maven plugin is already there so you will say it provided all everything that i need for the spring boot project so uh, all dependencies are in place you can see uh, the main method is already created uh, with the class name demo application demo is uh, my project name and it automatically create class uh, with the project name demo demo application and inside that uh, main method is there so you will see here a spring boot application dependencies is there is this a spring boot depend application dependency is the combination of several other dependencies you can go through the documentation or uh, i'll explain you in the next course uh, where whenever i'll explain you the spring boot project so i'm creating course especially to explain everything uh, for the spring boot project and uh, for the interview so here a spring application so a spring it added dependency and jar is added all the jar related to a spring and this a spring application runs so this is the thread inside main it starts a spring thread and a spring thread takes the demo application this class as an argument and other argument if you are passing any command line argument that also it is taking as an argument to run the spring boot pro project so it a spring boot has its own container its own server where it start run the program so i can go to the demo application so i'll go back and go to the demo so this is our uh, spring boot application so i'll do same same command maven install it will build the project create the jar in the target folder exactly similar similar to the java application and it will add all the you are able to see like it is building lot of things uh, because it added in all the dependencies so a spring boot a starter dependency is the combination of lot of other dependencies so that is the bundle of dependencies i can say uh, you do not have to add each dependency you just add a starter and it will add all the dependencies and now i'll run a spring boot so this is the command i just executed and uh, actually i am not printing anything to show you i have 
if this application is running so for now i'll go and add some uh, system dot out dot print ln and then uh, that will so that you can so see uh, this application is running so let me add some message here so in the uh, next lecture uh, like next lecture or maybe next to next lecture i will add the apis also so here i'll run again a spring boot run and you can see the message running spring application the same uh, our output that i am printing in the main method so yeah a spring boot is running now so you have created a spring boot project this is very very simple a skeleton project and like automatically it gets gets created by the spring boot starter now i'll see in the target see the maven dependency is automatically added lot of dependency i'll refresh the target folder and after refreshing the target folder you can see here a uh, jar so now see the project name is demo but the jar is being created using spring boot docker and then version number so spring boot docker is the artifact id so project name is the name of the project and artifact id is the one that is used to create jar file always remember so thank you uh, we have successfully uh, created a spring boot application and uh, thanks for this uh, watching this and we'll uh, talk you in the next lecture